Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I'm going to show you how to add a twist to a headband. This is not a tutorial on how to make the headband, it's just how to close it to where there's a twist. So for your headband, you can use any size yarn and hook combo that fits with the yarn to make the headband in a long piece that fits the size you need. I will link in the description box a size list of the average uh, headband sizes and um, you just make like a long panel of that size. Like for me, this is about a 22 inch uh, panel <laughs> and when you cut it off, leave a long tail at one of the ends for sewing. So for this one, I used um, home, uh, what's it called, hometown yarn, so it's a number six and I used a K hook. But you can use any combination of any yarn and hook size and any stitch really. But if you do have a stitch that needs to be facing outwards, like a bubble stitch or something of that effect, you would want it laying facing up on your table or whatever. You wouldn't want it on the back side. You'd want it facing up so that when you turn your headband, it'll be on the outside. So first you want to get your needle <laughs> and put it on your end. I have a bunch of needles. Tip with bigger yarn is to kind of unravel it a little. Put it over your needle like that and then it'll go into the eye a little bit easier. Like that. <laughs> so you pick up your headband and you make like a U shape. And then you rotate them both like this to make like a V. Then over here on the left side you take the right side and place it halfway over the left. And then you fold the left over the right. It'll make like a sandwich of a C shape right here. Then you take this leftover right side and you fold it around the back so it's like a C shape here. So one goes this way and the other one goes this way. Then you take your needle and you sew all the way through here just connecting all the layers together. Make sure you pick up each layer each time so that they're all together securely. Once you're done sewing, you can weave in your end, and then you just turn it inside out. Ignore my hand to pretend it's woven in. <laughs> and there you go. That's a really cute twist. Noise in the background is my son. <laughs> for your headband. And this would work with any stitch. Like I said, if you had bobble stitches, they would be facing out the right way. This is just a half double crochet in the back loop only. It gives it that ridged effect. But that's how easy it is to twist a headband. I hope this was helpful to the people who needed it. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye guys.